with Chef Ricotta back in the kitchen. Today we're gonna give you all you can show you all you can make yourself a nice, lovely, simple sponge. Lemon and raisin sponge cake from Chef Ricotta. Enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments. Thank you so much guys for subscribing to the channel. And remember, you get a copy of my cooking book. Um, remember that pack roast beef is coming up also. We have a lot of tips and ideas for Christmas coming up soon. So enjoy the recipe and see you next time. Nice bye bye. I love a simple recipe guys as you can prepare this at home today. Today we're going to make you a nice lovely lemon and raisin sponge cake today. So basically to, for you to start the recipe what you're going to be needed is 4 ounces of unsalted butter. Room temperature is one of the most important things which you're going to be needed. And also you're going to be needed 4 ounces of granulated sugar that's what you're gonna be needed also four ounces of granulated sugar right here pour straight inside of it like this um, basically what you need to do now after you're scraping your sugar all you need to do is use your spoon and simple cream the sugar and the butter together like this so I'm creaming the butter and the sugar is a very easy and simple recipe guys and I'm telling you anyone can do this at home so after you cream your butter and sugar together it's supposed to be like this really nice and beautiful second thing you're gonna be needing four ounces of self-rising flour um, make sure you got everything room temperature so right here I'm gonna be weighing out four ounces of self rising flour guys and I'm gonna simply pour it straight inside of my bowl right here second thing right here I have a lemon and I'm gonna simply grate on my lemon but on this side which I'm gonna be using to grate to the lemon so I'm gonna grate on my lemon just to give you guys an idea of what's going on right there so so just like that so I'm gonna grate on my lemon nice. so right here I just Grate up my lemon. Second thing is get it and put it straight inside of it like this, inside of the mixture. The next thing what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna put two ounces of four ounces of raisin inside of it, and I'm weighing, weighing it out the raisin. So I'm gonna put it straight inside of it like this. The second thing I'm gonna get two egg. one then simple we say egg nice one after you we say egg then take it at a time and simple pour it inside of this like this the rest of it nice one scrape on everything as I can see, that looking lovely and nice. Um, the next thing what we're gonna do is pop two teaspoons of milk, all our milk inside of it like that. And simply use a hooded spoon and give it a spin. lovely and nice then after you do that then use your whisk and give it a whisk nice one put that at the side then after you put that at the side this is your baking tray which you're gonna use and um so basically what you're gonna do is get a piece of a butter and simply put it inside of it like that then use a piece of a napkin and grease it like this nice one this is a as i can say a very small pan just for our four inches seven inches so what we're gonna do now we're gonna scrape out our paste which we just make inside of it like this nice 
nice recipe as you can see lemon and raisin sponge preheat the oven first just mark four or five for 20 25 minutes inside of the oven if you use a different kind of oven at 165 is good for 20 25 minutes also enjoy the recipe subscribe to the channel and see you next time Take it from the oven, looking lovely and nice. A little bit hot, but simple. Look at this. Perfect. Perfect. As you can see, guys, really soft and nice. Beautiful, as you can see. Look at that. Whoa. This is just fantastic, guys. And I'm telling you, you can do the same thing at home. See something. A little bit hot but that's fine anyway enjoy the recipe subscribe the channel is a lemon and raisin sponge cake recipe very easy and simple all you need to do is just add the ingredients to it guys as you can see very nice and decent soft sponge cake and you can serve a little bit of ice and sugar on top and that's it so see you next time bye bye